Since 1980, Providence Ministries Service Network, a nonprofit organization, has been providing for the basic priorities of life to those most in need within the greater Holyoke community. I'm Nathan O'Leary for Comcast Newsmakers at the Majestic Theater in West Springfield, Massachusetts. The Executive Director of the Providence Ministries Service Network, Karen Blanchard, joins Newsmakers. Karen, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me, Nathan. When Providence Ministries Service Network started 35 years ago, initially its mission was to feed the poor, but then that expanded and changed. Yes, because not only was there a great need in the community to feed people, but also to house people. So that's when we started our um, you know, services to the, to the homeless. And let's talk about some specific programs. You have Kate's Kitchen and right. Margaret's Food Pantry. Right, so those are our two main food programs. Kate's Kitchen is a community kitchen that provides a noontime meal seven days a week, 365 days a year to anybody who walks through the door, no questions asked. Our emergency food pantry, Margaret's Pantry, um, provides a two-day supply of food uh, to anybody in need with a referral. And why is food so important to your organization? You know, really, nobody should be food insecure. There is such an abundance of food, and we just have to get it out and to the people who really need it. Now, all about breaking that cycle of poverty yeah. is getting people a job. Job training, yeah. very critical to you guys. Absolutely. You operate FoodWorks, which is a culinary arts program. Can yeah. you talk about its impact? We're really excited about FoodWorks. Um, we're just starting our sixth class, which is really exciting. And it basically, it teaches people with barriers to employment a skill. Okay, so we're teaching them culinary. So not only do they go through the, the 12 weeks of training, but then we help them find a job afterwards. And they have a one week internship with the Delaney House Log Cabin, which is invaluable to them. So then they go on and we help them find permanent employment. So they get our public assistance and they, and they can really be productive members of society. And how does this program align with the casino coming? Well, we felt that the casino was going to draw a lot of culinary people to it, uh, highly skilled ones. And so because they're going to be leaving their jobs in other areas, our people can fill the ones that they, that they left from. So that's kind of what our plan was, that it was going to be part of that cycle. Loretto House and McCleary Manor, they provide sober living for men. What is the status of those programs? Well, Loretto House is our transitional housing site for, for sober men. And we can house up to 24 men at any, any given time. And that's usually pretty consistently full. Um, McCleary Manor, on the other hand, is our recently opened permanent housing site. So we're only about half full right now. So we are looking for residents to, to fill those, uh, those empty beds. We can house up to 25 uh, sober men at any given time. Now why do you have it in that order from the one house to the other? How does that program well, work? Really what we do is we transition a lot of the men who are from, you know, complete the Loretto House program because it is a, a short term program and then they go into permanent housing. So it's, it's kind of a transition that we're able to, to offer to the men. How is the Providence Ministries able to sustain all this work? Because these are four large programs. Yeah. Yeah, um, in the past we used to get you know government funding, HUD funding, and, and but that has all kind of dried up at this point. So we really rely on the generosity of the community to to come through and just really help us keep our doors open to feed, clothe, and house the poor of the. And it, it is the greater Hoyoke community. It's not just Hoyoke. We really do surrounding communities also. And for you personally, you've been involved with this organization for 26 years. Yeah. What keeps you involved? It's, it's the passion, it's, it's just the, it's the mission, it's just the, the people I work with, it's just, it's an amazing mission to have and, and it really is my heart and my soul I, I put into it and it's just, you know, just knowing that I can help all these people, it just, it really keeps me motivated and, and keeps me going. What kind of impact do you think that, that broadly this is making? Because you said it's not just about Holyoke. Yeah. Yeah, we really do the surrounding community. I mean, Kate's Kitchen alone serves over 50,000 meals per year. I mean, that's amazing, you know? And Margaret's Pantry is doing about 25 families a, a week. And so it, when you really add that up, we, we have served over well over a half a million people, you know, over the years. And, and so it's just, we really impact um, a, a lot of people, hopefully in a positive manner. Some great work. Thank you. Thank you, Karen, for joining us. Karen Blanchard, Providence Ministries Service Network Executive Director. Thank you, and thank you for joining us here for Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Nathan O'Leary.